Okay, so we last left off where we took the numbers here and did the alignment to the middle. So they're all centered in their, in their cells there, the numbers. Now I'm going to go down somewhere about the middle of my two lines that I made, the borders I made. And I'm going to go ahead and select that row from line to line so that they're all selected. And I'm going to put a border on the bottom of those cells. So I'll go over here to my borders again and select this one. This time I'm going to select the bottom one. So that's just the bottom border. And then when I can deselect, I can see that it made a line across. So here I've got a line that's a number line, basically, is what I'm doing here. So we're going to start working on fractions. We're going to pretend this is a ruler, and we're going to divide it up into sections and do measurements. So I'm going to start with dividing this whole thing into two sections. So I'm going to go in the middle of it. So I know I've got 32 numbers, so half of that would be 16. So I'm going to go just below the 16, and I'm going to select... The cells, <clears throat> I pick the cells so that I'm just kind of one cell above the last, the bottom of my line. So it's going to be a little bit shorter. I'm going to put a border on this one and make it a little bit shorter than my first one. So again, 16, and the, the line that's between 16 and 17 is the middle, dividing this into two sections. So I'll put my border on the right side again. Now I've made a line there. So now when I look at this, I've divided this one unit into two units so when i look at one unit over here then this is going to be one over two that's one half and this one over here is the other one half so that would tell me that this marking right here is going to be one half of my total unit so i'm going to delete those so we've just made the half mark. So if this was a one inch ruler and I zoomed in, zoomed in on one inch marking, halfway through would be one half inch. Pretty simple. So I'm going to have you do that right now. Make a half inch mark and put the half on the bottom there below that line. All right. So we did our half mark. Now we're going to take this we have two units and this is if this was a one inch mark this is the half let's go ahead and work on just the first half of it now uh, now i'm going to go ahead and find the mark that's between halfway between the zero i'm going to put a zero let's put a zero over here just so you guys have that established and then this over here is going to be the one so we're looking at one inch so zero and a half so I'm going to go ahead and find the halfway point between the beginning, the zero, and the half mark. And I know that that's divided into 16 sections, so half of 16 would be 8. So again, I'm going to do another one here. This time I'm going to start, I started up here on row 3, so I'm going to go ahead and drop down one to row 4 and make this line, again, one cell shorter. Because that's what they do on rulers, is they make the line just a little bit shorter each time they go to a, a half of a unit. So again, I'm dividing this half up to half again. So I'm at the 8, and I'm going to put my mark there. So let's go ahead and put my bar border, right border, on the, this, the line to the right, right of the 8 there. And now that I've taken this half-inch unit and divided it in half, when I do that again on the other side... So I take my 8, add it to 16, that's going to be 24. So I'll make another one over here on the 24 mark. Make it the same length as this one here because we're, these are our quarter marks. I'll do my border on the right. Now when I look at that, I've divided this one inch up into four different sections. So one, two, three, and four. So each one of these is what we call a quarter. So this one here, now I'm going to make that one quarter. And then at the half mark, that would be the same as two quarters. And then this last mark over here that I made is the third quarter. And then the, at the end one would be four quarters we divided up into quarters same thing if i went back here to the halves this is the first one is the first half 
and the second one here it would be the second half. So this would be the same as two halves, and this is the same as four quarters. So we made our quarter marks there. So go ahead and pause the video now and make your quarter marks so that you can see four divided up into four sections. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and divide again into another section. So we've divided into four sections. Now we're going to divide this thing up into eight sections. So halfway between each of our quarter marks, because we've got four quarters, we're going to divide that up in half again, each one of those. So we'll have eight eighths. So again, halfway between my eight would be four. And again, make it a little bit shorter. So let's go in here and make your line just a little bit shorter. One, one cell shorter than the other one. And that one there, put the border on it. Border on the right. And then we'll go over the same thing. We go four more from the eight. That's going to be 12. Make another one that's, oop, that's too long. Let's shorten it. There we go. Notice if I select something I don't like, then I just click somewhere else to deselect it. So I'll put my right border on it. And then do the same thing. Four more on top of 16 would be 20. And then four more on top of 24 would be 28. And put my borders on there. And now we can see that each one of those, those are a little bit shorter lines than the quarter lines. They had just one cell shorter. And then here we have that's going to be the first eighth mark. That's one eighth. And then one quarter would be two eighths. And then we have three eighths would be the next one. And then four eighths, of course. But we don't say those ones. And then five eighths. And then six eighths. And then seven eighths. And then, of course, the last one would be eight eighths, one whole. So we have our cells on there, all of them labeled on our one eighth marks. So go ahead and do that on yours. Now we're going to get down to our smallest measurement that we're going to do. Uh, I'll show you one more after it, but at least I want to get to where you understand it. So we've divided our one inch unit up into eight segments. Now we're going to divide each one of those in half. So if I double eight, that would be 16. So I'm going to divide this up into 16 segments. So here I'm going to go halfway between my zero and four would be two and make this one again a little bit shorter, one cell shorter. And I can do this holding my control key down. I can do multiple ones. So my two on top of four would be six. And then I can add two more to the eight and that would be 10. So I can hold the control key down. I can do all these at the same time. Two on top of 12 would be 14. And then two on top of 16 would be 18. And two past 20 would be 22. And then two past 24 would be 26. And then two past 28 would be 30. So I've just selected all of these the same. And I'm going to do all of them, the border on the right. So I can do them all at once. So they're all done now. And those lines, again, are a little bit shorter. And so the first one is 1 16th, because this is divided up into 16 sections. So 1 16th. And then, of course, the one eighth would be two sixteenths, even though we don't say that. And then three sixteenths. So we're just counting all the way up. So I'm going to go ahead and pop these in. Wow, that's four sixteenths. And then I'll pause the video and I'll let you do that as I'm finishing these up. So I got all the numbers put in now. And like we were, when I was saying we were going through these, some of these numbers you wouldn't measure with those numbers, like 2 sixteenths. 2 sixteenths actually reduces to 1 eighth. You divide both of those numbers by 2. So 2 divided, or sorry, by, yeah, by 2. So 2 divided by 2 is 1, and 2 sixteenths divided by 2 is 8. So that 2 sixteenths is reduced to 1 eighth. Same thing with 4 sixteenths. 4 sixteenths 
because there's four of them there. We divide this into four sections. I divide that by four. So four divided by four is one and 16 divided by four is four. So that four sixteenths reduces to one quarter. So this is where we get into some math. So you reduce the fractions down to its, what we say the most common denominator. So eight sixteenths, that's eight sections divided by uh, this whole unit is divided into eight sections. So eight divided by eight would be one, 16 divided by eight would be two. So we're breaking that down to one half. So really when you're looking at the things, uh, like I said, you start from the large measurement. We divided the whole thing into two sections. So that's a half marker divided into four sections. So this is a quarter marker, one fourth divided into eight sections. This is an eighth marker and then divide it by into 16 sections, so it's a 16th marker. So you can count those things up. And then like the video was saying, you can have different little tricks on how to remember what lines are right next to another one. So hopefully you have your sheet all done now, and this is kind of a cheat sheet to help you work with measurements. So what I would do is I would go and erase the ones that, have, that we wouldn't use or make the other ones bold so we can take our markers like one eighth, that's gonna be one we're gonna measure with. So I can make that bold, go up here to hit the bold key. And then the quarter mark and not, not doing four sixteenths or two eighths, let's make that a bold one. And just do that with all your measurements that are supposed to be bolded. And I can select multiple ones, like I said before, just by holding the control key down, and then I can bold all of those at once. Or if I really wanted to, we could take these things and change all of these to a different color even so they stand out. So when you're doing your measurements and you can tell you're, you're memorizing that stuff, change that stuff to a bright red maybe, there we go. So those are the numbers. And then the same with these numbers up here. These of course are the smallest measurements because those ones, when we count up by 16th, it'll be the same thing. So we'll make those bold and red as well. So there you go. Now you have your ruler set up for measurements and you can use that to study some of the next measurement things we get into.